So what's up you lovely bunch? Thought it was time, maybe a little bit late, to show you around Piglet in a little bit more detail. I think about 55% of these are already sold in the first 72 hours. So this one should sell out. And you can obviously see why. It's a bit of a spicy looking thing. So smoke grey, with a black roof, you have to excuse the dust on the car, but as you all know, I live on a farm. <coughs> but look at that interior. So it's a 1990 racing flame checkmate, exactly the same as Gertie started life. Um, but Piglet's builder decided to go in the polar opposite direction with the stunning Mark I retro styling. And rather than going half-hearted, <clears throat> he's gone the whole, the whole hog. So it's got a rear Mark I light conversion, obviously correct boot with drop down number plate front and rear bumpers with overriders 10 inch wheel conversion with cupress brakes up front mark one front end with correct mark one grill and moustache obviously front bumpers with o-riders the very eagle-eyed amongst you will notice the mark one the lights indicators sorry should i say these are a really nice touch super cool uh, race style indicators really neat obviously the mirrors And again, just have a look at this interior. Attention to detail on this car is exceptional. So carpet to, when you get in and out of Venice, you quite often <clears throat> kick and scuff the door cards. So that's to prevent that from happening. Obviously matches the carpets internally. Two classic bucket seats, one with <coughs> An old driver side with a harness. <coughs> Again, roof liners beautifully fitted as well. These can sometimes be sagging, bolt in, rear roll cage, which is obviously in the door pockets. <coughs> Been painted in and out, so it's had a complete correct colour change. The Moto Elite, um, the Moto Proto Tipio steering wheel and these just a really nice uh, touch. The ignition's on I don't think. Oh, yeah. So these all work and flash on the end. Just a cool the ignition's on, so I can't show you those ones, but I'll show you them in a second. Again, let's just put the bonnet, which is where the real magic happens in this car. The very, again, keen eyed amongst you will notice no wiring. So that is all internal on this car. So the idea was to make the engine sing in its own right with as, mu as less possible wiring as possible on display. So this is a 1293 <clears throat> with a 286 cam, uh, light and balance flywheel, load of other trick parts, twin SUs, properly done 
uh, at a cost of a thousand pounds. This thing is an absolute rocket. Sounds amazing. I'll start it up for you obviously in a minute. <coughs> and um, give you a little demonstration. But just look how clean the bulkhead is. Obviously all the correct updated hoses that you'd expect on one of these on a performance engine. The head is obviously had all the usual porting and polishing that you'd expect. The all important Fletcher, I think they're 12 core, I forget now. Radiators. I'll just pop you in there. Neath. So you can see how amazing this car is. Rear super fins. What else is there to say about Piglet, to be fair? <laughs> I think it sells himself. 55% uh, sold. I think there's bang on 600 tickets left. So I will, of course, draw him early. If you go and get involved and get all the tickets sold out before the 17th. If not, he will be drawn, guaranteed drawn, no matter what happens on the 17th. Internally, it's worth mentioning, we have center console, <coughs> center ashtray, even an early heater or an earlier heater. Again, new lining, driver's sun visor, trim to match the doors, alley door furniture. Again, the carpet. It's got the stop scuffing, which you can see there. Uh, it's also got USB and this, the aforementioned wiring is all neatly tucked away. Now, I will try and start it. I might need some choke. I'll just try it. Just get in a little bit better. I need some car. Because it's cold. I'll just put my foot on the accelerator. Keep it ticking over. Hope you're outside and you have a listen. It's obviously cold, so I don't want to go too mad. Pressure, which is what you expect. 90 mile per hour speedo, which um, let's say it will go off. This is a nice little touch, so the gear stick is on an angle. It just feels nice when you're driving. Obviously, the rotate TPO steering wheel. Must have turned off in the rain the other day. Mm. Rear cage. These are super comfy, these seats as well. Yeah, don't know what else to say, people, really. Um, let's get out. So, this is with no joke. Completely, completely cold start. Nice rattly cam. I love the sound. Rattly cam. Pressure on this. It's hard to tell on camera, but really, really, really strong. Obviously, full system on it. I imagine it's got to be getting on certainly mid 80s. Might even be as much as a 100 brake. If I get time. Get it rolling roaded. Obviously I'll do a video of it whizzing up the road. But yeah, hit the link people, go get involved. Who's gonna be driving away in Piglet? Hopefully on an early draw. Good luck people. <laughs>